Today we're going to be reviewing the Kuyu Pro 3600 pack system and I picked this pack up probably about three weeks ago and prior to that I'd done research for I don't know, probably about three months and obviously when you go to buy a pack you're spending a lot of money so you want to make sure you're spending it in the right places and so I did a lot of research watched a lot of YouTube videos to make sure I was getting the right one and this is the pack that I went with. So I have a few notes that I want to go over just to make sure I touch on everything that I think is worth talking about in this video. Um, I will preface it by saying I'm not some big western hunting guru. I've actually never been out west and I'm trying to accumulate this, this gear that I'm going to take out there when I eventually do get the opportunity. And obviously that's not something you can do all at once. It's costly uh, gear and you kind of have to accumulate it over time. So. When you're buying a pack, you want to make an informed decision. You're spending a lot of money, so be sure to do your research. And this video is just more so a accumulation of why I chose this pack specifically. As of 2019, Kuyu went in and revamped their whole pack system. Like I said, this is the Pro system. Prior to that, they had the Icon Pro. And they went in, made changes to the suspension system as well as the bags that they have and those come in five different sizes. They have the 1850, the 2300, this is the 3600, and they also have the 6000 and the 7800. Um, the features of this bag specifically, I went with the Vias camo. They also come in Verde, and they have a new pattern, which I have on the hip belts, which is called Velo. So this pack specifically features 3,600 cubic inches of space on the inside, and all of their packs also have a feature called load sling mode, where you can extend this out and pack meat between the pack frame and the bag itself, which adds 2,500 cubic inches of space as well. So on the inside here, there are slings that you can attach a load inside of your pack itself, or if that's not enough space for you, you can extend the bag out, like I already mentioned, and pack meat in between the bag and the pack frame, which is a carbon fiber frame. So one of my favorite features about this pack system is that you can use the frame itself and your suspension with any of the five packs they make. So if I were to use this pack on a, you know, anywhere from a one to three day hunt, if I were deciding to go into the back country where, I'm no, where I know I'm gonna be staying back there and needing to camp out of my pack, I could buy a much larger bag and use it with this system. And that's one of the cool things I like about this. So the reason I went with this size of pack is because it's kind of an oversized day pack and I figured that would be a kind of a one size fits all bag for me to use. Obviously in my first few hunts out west I'm not going to be staying 10 days in the back country but at the same time I wanted to have it in case I decided to stay out there for you know one or two nights. Obviously if you're staying out there much longer you would, you would get a different bag. So this pack itself weighs one pound 14 ounces and I want to say the system itself altogether is a little over four pounds. So super lightweight pack and it's doing the work of a heavyweight pack. So I did a lot of research, read reviews about this system itself and the only bad reviews I could find were people that were probably not using it the right way. It's a lightweight bag like I mentioned so unless you're using it correctly, there's a likelihood that you're gonna break it. Kuyu makes some ultra light hunting gear and they don't put straps on there that you would see on some of those big bulky bags. This pack itself is tested out to and above 150 pounds loaded down. So unless you're packing out a whole moose, you're probably not gonna exceed that. So like I said, when you go to buy a pack, do your research and buy what you think is gonna work best for you. There's a lot of good bags out there. And one of the videos I watched that I really enjoyed was the one from The Hunt and Fool on YouTube. And they broke down either nine or 10 of the top bags that are out there. And this was one that they ranked towards the top of their list. Uh, none of the dudes could find much bad things to say about it. And what I also liked about that was you had guys that were over six feet tall, under six feet tall, thinner, wider, whatever. They all like this pack. I know a lot of people are real specific about the lumbar and on this pack itself you can add and take away padding in that area so a lot of people like that 
like I said, do your research, pick what you think is going to work best for you. And I'm looking forward to taking this one out west and using it hopefully within the next year. So maybe then we can come back on, give you guys a more comprehensive review on what I thought about it actually in the field. So uh, check it out and uh, hope you enjoy use and seeing what I think about it specifically. So hopefully after that, I can come back on here and uh, give you guys a better review. So until then, give this pack a check out and uh, I didn't like give it a check out. Yeah, that's fine. Give this pack a check out. <laughs>